All right, what is happening, everyone? Welcome back, and today, this is the start of a new series I'm calling Figure Fight Night. All right, so basically what this series is going to be is I'm going to take two different figures from two different lines and compare them. They're going to go head-to-head. -head. I'm going to break it down into four different categories, those categories being accessories, detail, articulation, and playability. And I figured, first episode of the series, why not start with a bang? So let's go over our competitors, and let's get to it. In this corner, we have the Space Nazis. I, I, I mean... The last day of the Republic! Yeah, Space Nazis. We have the evil military hell-bent on ruling the galaxy. The Star Wars Black Series First Order Stormtroopers. Then in this corner, we have soldiers from the ruthless terrorist organization hell-bent on taking over the world. We have the G.I. Joe Classified Series... Cobra Troopers! Alright, now that our competitors are all introduced, let's get right into it. Also, this video is brought to you by the fact that the multiverse is kinda effed up right now. <laughs> anyway, enough lollygagging, let's get into it. Starting off with category number one. Let's go! Okay, so, starting off with our first category, which is detail. We're gonna start off with the First Order Stormtroopers. And yeah, these guys are actually super detailed as you can see yeah they really got nailed the paint of the armor it looks almost identical to how it does in the movie and yeah i think it looks good i will say the paint is a little lacking uh in certain spots like in the, the face sculpt a little bit it's not as great as the rest of the body but i mean other than that i mean this detail the detail on this figure and the paint just looks fantastic yeah but all in all this is a very detailed figure i mean they even got like little scuff marks on the armor just to make it look like it's battle damaged a little bit and I will say some of the paint doesn't match like the paint on the helmet doesn't really match the paint on the rest of the armor but yeah other than that I mean it's pretty detailed and it looks great in my opinion also don't mind this I uh, kind of hurt my thumb so all right and then next we have the Cobra Trooper and as far as detail goes at they absolutely hit it out of the park with this. Like, they really, like, down to the clothing, they've really detailed it just to make it look like it's actual, like, you know, actual pants he's wearing, actual, you know, armor he's got on, paint looks amazing. Everything looks good on this figure. Like, this is a very, very detailed figure. And even, you know, even underneath the helmet, got the mask all detailed and everything. It's fantastic. So, honestly, as far as detail goes, gonna have to give it to the Cobra Trooper for this one. All right, so our next category is accessories. So first up, let's take a look at the accessories for the First Order Stormtrooper. All right, so there are two different versions of the First Order Stormtrooper figure. There's the Riot Control Stormtrooper and the regular version. So, so we're going to go over the accessories for both figures. So just the standard, you know, First Order Stormtrooper is going to come with this pistol and this blaster right here, but... If you got the riot control stormtrooper, you get the riot baton there, the shield, and it also comes with another pistol like that. And you know, I just had to. Raider. Ah, uh, classic. All right, so then we're on to the accessories for the Cobra Trooper. And the Cobra Trooper comes with a knife, two pistols, and an assault rifle. All right, so here are the accessories for the two figures all together, and. I want to say, for the fact that all these accessories come with one Cobra Trooper, instead of having to buy two separate figures to get all these accessories, I know there is a version of the uh, First Order Stormtrooper that includes everything, like all weapons and accessories, but I'm not sure how expensive that is. I, last time I checked, it was a bit pricey. So, I'm kind of torn, because while it come, the Cobra Trooper comes with all of these, these ones are more detailed. So... I think I am going to go give it to the Cobra Trooper for accessories, just for the sole purpose that you get these four accessories with just one figure. We got a number one victory royale. All right, so then our next category is going to be articulation. So let's go over the articulation of the Stormtrooper first. Uh, doesn't have much head articulation as far as going up and down. His head does move side to side. He's got a uh, ab crunch. His arms go out a little bit. They're kind of hindered by the shoulder pad, though. Uh... Yeah, his arms go out, they go forward, they go back. Uh, he does have single jointed elbows, and he does have wrist rotation. Uh, 
not much of a waist swivel or anything. Legs go forward, they go back. Does have double jointed knees. And then the feet go down, they go up, and then he has a little bit of ankle pivot. It's kind of tricky on this one. But yeah, pretty solid articulation. All right, and now for the articulation of the Cobra Trooper. Uh, his head does go up, looks down. Uh, I believe it does go a little farther with the helmet off. Uh, yeah, just a little bit. Uh, his head goes side to side. Uh, arms go out, in, forward, back. Uh, he has a bicep cut, double jointed elbows. Uh, he does have wrist rotation, and the wrists do actually kind of tilt down a little bit, so gets into better shooting poses. I uh, believe he does have a bit of an ab crunch, but it's kind of hindered by the combat vest here. Uh, and he does have a waist swivel. Uh, his legs go forward, they go back. He has an th upper thigh cut. Uh, his double jointed knees. Oh, and he has boot rotation. Uh, feet go down, they go up, side to side, and he does have really good ankle pivot. So I did just realize the Stormtrooper actually has an upper thigh cut too. It's just kind of can't really move it due to, you know, the padding here, like the armor on his thigh here, and it kind of hits the little pouches on his belt here, but he does have an upper thigh cut. So, All right, so for articulation, I think, once again, I am going to go with the Cobra Trooper just because, you know, he's a lot more poseable. Uh, you know, Stormtrooper does have decent articulation, but... You can't really get them into certain poses that you can get the Cobra Trooper into. And, you know, I think the Stormtrooper is honestly lacking a little bit of articulation. And, you know, the Cobra Trooper just makes up for that with all the points of articulation he has. So, winner for articulation, Cobra Trooper. Helicopter, helicopter. All right, so then our last category is going to be playability. So, let's get them all posed around. Let's see how they look. All right, so here are the Stormtroopers all posed up and... Yeah, I mean, you could still, despite their lack of articulation, you could still get them into some pretty cool poses. And so let's take a look at the Cobra Troopers next. And then here we have the Cobra Troopers all posed up, ready to go. And honestly, I, <laughs> you guys are going to hate me for this, but I got to give it to the Cobra Troopers. Uh, you could just get them into more dynamic poses, and they just look a lot cooler. Uh, and this in no way reflects how I feel about the figures in themselves, you know, I love the Stormtroopers still. I still have a whole shelf full of them. I mean, at the end of the day, I have more Stormtroopers than Cobra Troopers. But in these categories we were going over, just the Cobra Troopers just take it, you know, hands down. And our winner is the Cobra Trooper. All right, guys, and that was the first episode of Figure Fight Night. Uh, Yeah, like I said, this is going to be a new series I'm starting. So let me know in the comments what uh figures you guys want to see go head to head. And again, just want to say... You know, this competition was not a reflection of my feelings of the figure. I, again, I love the Stormtroopers just as much as I love the Cobra Troopers. I literally have a whole shelf in my collection dedicated to the Stormtroopers. I've been army building nonstop for years now. So, just when it comes down to those categories, Cobra Trooper just took it. Oh, I also think we forgot how messed up the multiverse is. Again, why don't I give you a reminder? <laughs> That just happened. Yeah, the multiverse is a lot more uh, messed up than I thought, apparently. Well, on uh, that note, uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, watch out for the next video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to go uh, clean this up. All right, bye.